Hey guys, World's Playground here. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get InstaList on a jailbroken um, iPhone or iPod. Uh, it can be iPod Touch first or second generation, and iPhone first or second generation as well. So, what you need to do is you need to go to your Cydia application. Go ahead and open up Cydia. Now what it's going to do is it's going to load a bit of data and stuff like that, which shouldn't take too long, depending on how many sources you have. Loading, loading. Alright. I know my brightness is up a little high, but hopefully it won't make much of a difference. What you need to do is you need to go over to Manage. Oh, I went to Search. Go over to Manage. Go to Sources. Sources. And then you go to Edit. And then you go to Add. And the source you'll be adding will be in the description. It will be cydia.haculo.us forward slash. That will be in the description. Once you're done adding it, it should be one of the top ones that pop up. And it should say haculo.us, the official haculo.us repo. And immediately after adding that source, go to changes, which is besides manage on the five bottom buttons at the, on the iPhone. Go to changes, and then you'll see a few uh, new app, new applications. Craculus, Edge to 3G icons, Instalus, MI Patch firmware, and Source GUI. Go ahead and download MI Patch from our 2.2.1 because basically what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to download applications off the internet um, because Apple restricts that and. Um, by downloading this patch, it will allow you to download applications using the Instalus application. Because normally that's not allowed. So it's just running now. Alright? It's going, going, going. Almost finished. Alright. So now I return, to, return back to Cydia. Then go back to Changes. And then you'll see... Craculus, Edge to 3G icons, and Instalus. Go ahead and click Instalus. And then click Install. And then Confirm. And then it will load up Instalus. Alright, so just wait until that's done loading. Um, then after this, you need to, but you gotta make sure you have an App Store account. Um, or well, an iTunes account, so you're able to download an application because you're unable to use Instalus unless you have an application. And if, you're curi if you don't know how to make a free iTunes account, I will be posting a video up shortly on how to do so. Alright, so now that it's done downloading, go to Return to Cydia. Alright, now you can exit out of Cydia and go back to your home screen. Alright, now go to App Store. Now, download any application that you want. It can be paid or free, it doesn't really matter, as long as you have an application. Alright, now I'm going to quickly type in my information. My password. And then just click OK. And then it will start downloading whatever application you chose. As you can see, it says loading. All right, now that's done. Now you can go to Instalus. It's loading up. Do do. All right. So now that it's up, go ahead and go to the search engine in the top right-hand corner there. Go ahead and click search. And then this is where you type in your application. I'm going to go ahead and type in, uh, what's a good application? A super monkey ball, how about, I'll type in Tetris. Tetris, there we go. Then search. Now what it does is it searches um, its library, which is basically the same as the App Store, for all applications that have Tetris, either in the name or in its search. All right, so let's scroll down until we find a Tetris. Do, 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 do. Well, we found no Tetrises so far. You can go to view 15 more apps. All 
loading. Do 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 do. All right, let's skip on the load part. Let's just uh. Whoop. All right, I suppose we might as well go now. Uh. Still can't find, it, so I'm just gonna pick uh. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick Diamond Twister. How about that? Diamond Twister. It's loading. Sorry about my connection. I go better on 3G than I do on uh, Wi-Fi. All right, now what you do is you scroll down all the way to the bottom. Basically, what this is, it's um, Instalus's own version of App Store because it gives its own description, its own section for screenshots, and its own section for information. It costs $1.99, but it is free. It's just telling you how much it would cost if you were getting it from App Store. You scroll down all the way to the bottom, and you download the usually the latest firmware that they offer, or version, sorry. Go ahead and click it. And then we'll redirect you to a page where it has different links. Um, seeing as how this app isn't very popular and only has one link, usually they have like seven different ones. And then you go to Mediafire, which is one of the many. And then you just browse its website, which pops up on where you need to click to actually download the application. I'm going to go ahead and look myself. Alright, and then after you go to that website, just go ahead and download it, and then it will show up on your home screen. Alright? So that's how you get Instalus and how you download applications. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.